Hello everybody, Violet Phoenix here. Just a quick update. I had given you some feedback about these 24 karat magic hydrogel eye masks. I'm on my last two and I just wanted to be able to share that I just gave the entire full product line a try and I just unfortunately have not been uh, overly fond of it, impressed by it, and I have not been able to see results that would cause me to purchase this again. So with all due respect, I have to give my honest feedback. So I wanted to let you know I went through the whole container, used them all as I was supposed to, and it's empty now. And I just unfortunately wasn't impressed, so I would hope that I can help save someone money instead of purchasing those. I will show the ones that I prefer to use at some point. And so I wanted to give you that heads up. And last night I started using my new Chanel um, Smooth and Firming Cream. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on just because I've wanted to be able to be helpful with this feedback so people will know. Opening it shouldn't be difficult, but to be quite frank with everyone, I have really bad arthritis, so that's on me. And I'll reset the gel. Now I will say, I think I'm probably going to be running out of this rather quickly. So I'm not sure what the standard size is. This was a little trial size. Hello, Ludi. <laughs> That's Luna, named after Luna Lovegood from Harry Potter, of course. She always likes when I'm putting on lotions and such. Don't you, Luna? So, and I will say, I've gotten a blemish. I can't remember the last time I had a blemish, to be quite frank with you. Uh, so, it must be from the fact that I've been using so much makeup lately and trying all these new products because I haven't had a, seriously, I'm not trying to brag or anything. It's just, I haven't had a blemish, literally, can I, since I can remember. I am... Uh, basically I don't even have, you know, hormones and such. I had a full hysterectomy. It's actually along the lines of an emergency hysterectomy because I had stage four endometriosis, which had bound itself around multiple organs of mine. And I had to have three specialty surgeons in Orlando all working on, on my insides at the same time to save me, save my organs, etc. So it was a big deal. Um, but anyway, so it was a medically induced menopause, of course. So I don't have anything left, no uterus, no ovaries, no nothing. Uh, so, and it's been, you know, plenty of time since that happened. And uh, thankfully I haven't uh, had any kind of huge issues as far as the connection of menopause at an early age. I was told by a a very close family member of mine that my grandmother actually when she went through menopause she was like it was just a breeze so hopefully it's in my dna that it's just meant to go easy so thank goodness because um it'd be nice to have one aspect of the things that can go a little bit easy because my periods were no fun um anyway so my point is i don't have you know a lot of hormonal changes and such that could potentially create breakouts and such so again it's not from hormones or it's not that oh my period's on its way so kind of strange but i have been trying out a lot of new beauty products um and it could definitely be a connection towards one of those ingredients and such but i'll just make sure to continue to take care of it and just wanted to give my feedback. So those were the final bits. I'll show you the new eye masks that I use uh, tomorrow night maybe or the night after. Just wanted to give a little heads up and let everyone know I'm here. Thanks for all your support. Please click and subscribe and 
know that I, I genuinely want to be helpful. Oh, also, I'll have to look for the name of this person, but I got this beautiful ring for $10 on Poshmark. And it's going to match my purple wigs really in a great way. So I will have to find that information as far as the seller and provide it in case anyone's interested because I did receive it in great condition and quickly. So I like to support people that follow through on Poshmark standards. So just in case anyone likes this pretty ring. Now these are from quote unquote real jewelry stores. Uh, from my husband and such. So the, the other rings you see on me are, <laughs> you, you don't get them for $10, but this one I just, I really liked it. So, and it was a great deal. Why not? Violet Phoenix, of course. So anyway, thank you again for listening. And I hope this review helps you to be 100% clear again. It was the Ulta Beauty 24 karat magic hydrogel eye masks. I really got it because of the 24 karat thing and uh, kind of sucked me in. And I, you know, I tried them out and I just wouldn't recommend you using them. I'll show you the ones I recommend the next time I make a video. Have an awesome night. Have a great week. And please feel free to ask any questions or comment and such. I don't judge anyone. I'm not here to judge anyone. Uh, but if anyone ever decides to judge me, I've got thick skin. I can take it. I'm literally just here to try to be helpful and informative and share my life and experiences and things that I enjoy. So thanks for being a part of it. And remember, we are all magic.